welcome to Series Skylines. Fretos here, and here we are again at Wanderer's Haven. Uh, on this episode, I will be focusing more on the surroundings of the town itself rather than the town itself. So, I'm gonna be doing a lot of landscaping, a lot of terraforming, placing rocks here and there. Um, so, it's gonna be interesting. Of course, I'm gonna have a little bit of expansion for the town and the shanty town because um, I really want to keep on building the shanty town because it's really small at the moment and it doesn't really feel... you don't get the sense of scale um, when you think about the end of the world you think you would think that there's a ton of people out there looking for a shelter and once they find it um, well, there would be a lot of people flocking into the town and just creating this kind of messy uh, shanty town. At least that's what I think it will happen. In case of, you know, apocalypses and all the crazy stuff that we see in the movies. And not only in the movies, but in real life as well. But in a much smaller scale, of course. Uh, we haven't seen yet the end of the world. And hopefully we never see it, because uh, it's a terrible thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so... Uh, so here we are at the shanty town again, so here I'm just expanding a little bit towards the graveyard. So I wanted to have, I wanted to have this kind of uh, feeling that the shanty town is expanding and slowly reaching to the farmlands, so... That gives you kind of the idea that, well, there's a lot of people in there and they are uh, just looking for somewhere to settle. So, uh, on this side of the mountains, I wanted to do something interesting and you will see in just a few minutes. But uh, here I am building the retaining walls, of course, uh, like uh, normally you would see in a mountain farm. And uh, what, I, what I'm trying to do here is I want to tell a story about something that happened here. And this bird, man, is this bird is very uh, distracting. <laughs> and yeah, okay, pretty sure you heard it. It's always pew, 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 pew. anyways. So I want to tell a story about the disaster that happened here. It doesn't have to do much with the end of the world itself. It's more about a natural disaster. For example, well, uh, these mountains are very, you know, rainy. It used to rain a lot here, and it happened to be a landslide, and uh, the graveyard happened to be almost on the way of the landslide. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have these hints that something happened here, like the retaining walls broken, and graveyard, the ruins of the graveyard, filled with some rocks, big rocks, and etc. So over here I am just um, adding a little bit of details for the uh, for the graveyard to make it look more dirty, um, the dirt roads actually looking like dirt. Uh, I think I forgot some minor details here and at some point I was messing around with the sand texture and I don't know much about uh, mountain towns but I'm sure as hell that they don't have sand at least that's what I think but I didn't really want to add sand I just wanted to see how this texture would look on this side of the hill if that makes sense so I wanted to make it look more dirty more um, abandoned or something like that but at the end I just dismissed the idea because honestly sand uh, it doesn't really blend well with this kind of uh, theme so I here I'm just adding a little bit of trees trying to make this uh, graveyard look more alive Also adding this uh, 
how you call it, um, electrical poles. So here we are again on the on the side of the landslide. So I was adding these rocks and big rocks to try to give that look that there was a lot of rocks on this side and they just slide into the mountain towards the bottom and on the path there was this uh, graveyard and now it's destroyed so I also added some small trees and big trees to uh, give you the idea that this is not recent this has been there for a while and because of people it's been dealing with pretty much the end of the world they haven't had much time to fix the walls or pretty much clean the site so I think it's uh, looking really nice as well so this kind of uh, details is what I think um, brings life into the landscape and when you bring life into the landscape the uh, the town the main focus of your uh, of your buildings should be looking very good as well more realistic uh, so I'm gonna try to be doing that for the rest of the series not only focusing on for example of on one city or one town I want to focus more on little small regions of the map Moving on to the town itself, over here I got, um, well I'm building another expansion for the town, so for these nice chalets that I was uh, placing down on the on the last episode, so I thought it wouldn't be nice to have another tier, maybe somewhere over here with more, uh, with a more, uh, how you call it, uh, um, uneven road over here that looks more like uh, uh, countryside maybe maybe countryside okay it's not the right word anyways um, I wanted to make it to make this look like an actual uh, mountain so um, I wanted to have these big chalets over here and uh, to kind of have that look of uh, vacationing town or at least this part of the town to be that real to have that really nice feeling so at the moment I'm just adding a little bit of rocks because what mountain doesn't have rocks I mean it's part of the landscape and uh, although the texture for this mountain has a lot of rocks I feel like it's always missing some um, and like I said before <laughs> I don't know much about uh, towns in the mountains because I've only been once to one and uh, it, it was a really cool experience I've got to say but I didn't really saw too much about the this this small town plus it was really small I mean I was in the hotel the whole time and uh, I don't know it's just uh, I don't know how to explain it it, it the uh, the town itself was only one street and <laughs> a couple houses around and uh, mostly hotels so 
that was about it. So I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. The only access was by train. So I guess um, having some some kind of uh, train access to this town would be really nice. Maybe something, some food for thought for the next episode, probably. But I honestly don't know. So I don't, I don't know if having a train station over here would be a good idea. Mainly because the way the town is structured, it's made. Um, because I want this town to have that feeling that it's, you know, away from the society itself. That's the only reason why this town is still there, you know. So then again, we go to the story, which I don't even know what's going on with the story, but I've been thinking what to do with the story as well. And since I tend to overthink things a lot, uh, I think uh, I'm gonna end up doing something simple that just tells the story the way it is and what's happening and what's gonna happen. Uh, maybe like an intro. I don't know yet, I'm not sure, so I'm still in the process of creation. Sorry about that, there's a mosquito over here, I'm trying to kill, I'm trying to catch it. Yeah, it's uh, kind of interesting to see that I can't come up with a story. And it's actually very uh, frustrating because I want to tell a story, but I don't find a way to do it, so it's how it is. Things are like that. Regardless, uh, over here I'm just um, adding a little bit of more layers for the farm town. This time actually following the the silhouette, the, um, the way the mountain is created, the topology. And I think by this time I fixed some of the layers below and you can see them they seem to be more tight they, they seem to be more irregular so kind of like you would see in an actual farm town farm town in an actual um hill farm follow okay i am losing my english skills you can actually see that even though I didn't expand the town a lot, you see that it actually feels like it's bigger because of these farms, it's more terrain, it, it feels more free and uh, simply, uh, simply feels like a mountain town where you have a lot, lots of space for each house and I think that's a very nice feeling. I guess that's gonna be it for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed this one and uh, hopefully I will see you on the next one and yeah so thanks again for watching hasta la vista